Today, I am going to discuss about color of transition metal ions in aqueous solutions as well as in complexes. You know that D block elements will contain unpaired electrons in the D orbitals and if there are unpaired electrons in the D orbitals, we find that the most of the compounds will show color. The conditions for showing color in solutions as well as complexes is that it should have unpaired electrons, there should be the presence of ligand and the ligand will decide the splitting of the d orbitals. So it is due to dd transitions that most of the compounds or complexes show color in d block. In addition to that, it also show color due to charge transfer spectra. Today we will be learning about what are the conditions for showing color in the complexes. First, to decide upon the color of the solution or color of the complexes, one should know what are the components of white light. You know that white light is composed of Vibgeor colors. I have drawn this color wheel in order to explain how the color will appear. So, we have represented the uh, wavelengths different colors. Clear? Now, when we find that a complex is white in color, it means that it has reflected all the light. If the compound absorbs all the color, the material will appear black. Now, if a particular radiation is absorbed, the complementary colors will be exhibited. Now, what do you understand by complementary colors? Take the case with a complex which is appearing green in color. Suppose it is appearing green in color, the opposite sector will have red color in that. So it has absorbed the red component of radiation. Likewise, if a substance is appearing yellow in color, that means the violet part of the uh, radiation has been absorbed by the complex. Hope it is clear. Now, the main reason for showing color is due to DD transitions that are occurring. Now, this happens in the presence of a ligand. Depending upon the strength of the ligand, one can decide what type of splitting will occur. You find that the orbitals which are coming in between the axes dxy, dyz and dxz will be lowered in energy and they will be called as the T2g orbitals. Whereas the orbitals which are lying on the axis that is dx square minus y square and dz square they will be raised in energy and they will be called as eg orbitals. So when we find that ligands approach the metal ions the degeneracy of the d orbitals are completely lost and it results in splitting. The strength of the ligands decide upon the splitting energy. If a strong ligand is present, the splitting will be higher. When splitting is higher, the wavelength of the energy used or wavelength of the light used will be lesser. In 3D series, we know the element starts from 21 to Zn that is 30. When we check the ions formed from it, scandium 3 plus will have D0 configuration and the ending element Zn will have Zn2 plus with configuration D10. Except for D0 and D10, all other ions that are formed from the series will have at least one unpaired electron. So the uh, configurations with D1 to D9 will show colored in the solution and in the copy. Check the question given here. 
it is match the following question first column contains many complexes second column the colors and third column represents the wavelength you are supposed to match the correct ones first identify which are the ligands present here first case it is water second case it is ammonia and third case it is ethylene diamine now you have to check the position of these ligands according to the spectrochemical series when we check the spectrochemical series one is able to find out that out of these different ligands ethylene diamine is the strongest followed by ammonia and water we have learned that stronger the ligand more will be the cfsc that is the splitting energy when energy is more you find the uh, wavelength will be lesser depending on that you have to solve the problem thank you